I'm meteorologist Dave Anderson and it is a first alert day here on Sunday because of the winter storm that's been with us for the first half of the weekend and is scheduled to last through the second half as well. By the start of work week it should finally be gone. So Saturday afternoon the snow started, it could run through Sunday evening. Moderate to heavy snow is not only possible, it's likely. A lot of folks have had it already. Low visibility is one of the reasons we're concerned. That's why we're in first alert mode. Traveling, you have to do so cautiously. Highest snow totals are going to be near Lake Superior thanks to lake enhancement. We'll show a chart on that coming up here in just a little bit. But right now, yep, still have a winter storm warning going on for Minnesota and Wisconsin until 1 o'clock in the morning on Monday. Then for Iron County and Wisconsin and the Upper Peninsula, winter weather advisory will continue through 7 o'clock in the morning. The advice with the advisory, travel cautiously. Be ready for slow going, keep your lights on, and uh, uh, take it easy. That's about all I can say. We're all experienced winter drivers around here in the Northland, and we know how troublesome this can be. But trouble never sticks around forever. We do get a break, but once we get our break, we'll have these snow totals to deal with for shoveling, up north in Minnesota, three to six inches. Six to nine for much of the rest of the region. Head of the lakes up the North Shore and a slice of the South Shore, eight to even 16 inches possible there. And then for the UP, a moderate snowfall, three to six. Let's fire up the forecast. The seven day forecast indicates after Sunday, there comes our calm break. Monday and Tuesday, some sunshine highs, 25 to 32. But for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, there's a new low pressure system coming in that could start with a high of 40, bringing in a rain-snow mix, winding down to just flurries by Friday. Too early right now to tell about totals for this system, but do keep an eye on Northern News now as we get through this low and then start to tackle the next.